know what they say, right? Your chances of hitting the lottery and winning yeah. those numbers, very slim. Got to be in it to win it, though. They also say that. But winning the jackpot three times, incredible luck. And as WBZ's Laura Hafley shows us, it happened to someone in Brockton. On a quiet corner in an empty parking lot, the most unsuspecting store is becoming one of the luckiest places in Massachusetts. Oh, I come here a lot, actually. Star Food Mart on Hovenden Avenue in Brockton has sold winning lottery tickets before. In fact, they've gained a reputation for it. It's pretty lucky. But a mass cash win Sunday night was unexpected. That's insane. Um, I mean, I wish that was me, honestly. Massachusetts Lottery says Brockton resident Gertha Labatty won big, collecting her winnings Tuesday after an incredible streak of luck. She didn't just win once. She didn't just win twice. She won three times, shocking neighbors and the owner of the store. Let's go talk to him. Store owner Mohammed Ziad, proud of the victory for his customer, he even showed us the lucky numbers. I'm too happy for her. Lottery officials and Ziad confirm Labadi played the same three sets of numbers at one dollar per play. Not an uncommon move, but winning all three, each for a hundred thousand dollars, is rare. I couldn't believe it. According to the Mass Lottery, in 2022, they returned more than $1 billion in net profit statewide, some of that money coming from the sales generated at Star Food Mart. But for Ziad, it isn't the 1% he keeps that gets him excited. It's the re-energized reputation of their store churning out lotto wins that keep the doors open. A lot of people, they're coming over here like this is the lucky store of whole Massachusetts. WBZ reached out to Labatty, who did not immediately get back to us, so we asked neighbors the quintessential lottery question. What would they do with $300,000? Honestly, I'd start traveling. Invest it. I'll buy another store. <laughs> In Brockton, Laura Hayfleet, WBZ News. You know, those are all some good answers there, but I'm just thinking like, wait, is that my long lost cousin? We need to, <laughs> we need to go find her real quick. We're going to, uh, yeah, yeah, we'll see what happens during that break. Get on Ancestry.com. <laughs> see if you know her and see if she owes you some money, right?